everybody. So as you probably know, I have recently made a few trips to Macy's and been hanging out at the makeup counters there. And a brand that I'm starting to slowly discover is a brand uh, Benefit. And they have all kinds of fun stuff. And I actually kind of steered away from them for a while because their packaging just wasn't something that drew me in. I like really plain packaging and so their packaging is really bright and really colorful and that kind of thing. And so for some reason it was just something that I steered clear of. One of the things that kind of brought um, this all about was I got this little sample size, try me size here of their roller lash. And one of the first things, I don't know where I got this. I have bought a couple of their um, they sell, they kind of put together these boxes that are usually full of little try me sizes. Most of these are missing at this moment, but I've bought a couple of these and so it probably came in one of those, but this is called the Roller Lash and it took me a while to actually give it a good try and that type of thing because that is what the brush looks like and as soon as I opened it, I was like, oh, I don't like those kind of brushes and so I tossed it off to the side and didn't use it for a while. Then one day I was up here playing and discovered it and realized, wow, I actually really, really like this. So, one of my little trips to Macy's here recently, I bought myself a full-size one. So, I'm going to show this product to you today. This is a product that I've been using for a while now and have really liked it. This is the first full-size sample that I've bought. I'm also going to be talking about, like I said earlier, this guy right here called Eye Bright. It is just a, wipe the top of it off here. It is just like a matte, bright pink kind of, like a bright, bright pink matte eye pencil. And I'll show you what I do with that. And then another product that I think have a feeling is a lot like this but I have heard about this and have seen other people use this and really wanted to try it. It is called Highbrow. I haven't actually tried this yet so we're gonna do that today. So then while I was getting all of my little benefit products together here I happened to open this and one of the things that with Roller Lash a video that I watched of another girl, she was saying that this roller lash was her favorite, favorite, favorite mascara. However, she always combined roller lash and their other mascara called It's Real. And I almost bought that one the other day at Macy's, but I didn't. And I'm glad I didn't because I just, uh, sitting down to do this video, I just opened this pack here. This is their Do The Hula pack and it came with like try me sizes of their hula bronzer and one their new like bronzing cream. Actually, I've used this a couple of times and I really like that. It also came with this little like lip balm thing. I haven't really played with that much. And anyway, so th these are kind of fun to buy and play with and get try me sizes. But when I was sitting down to do this video, I was so excited because I opened it up and, oh wait, ta-da! There was a sample little or try me size of the They're Real. So I'm so excited to try the mascara or show you the mascara that I've been using. But then, like I said, another girl online said that she likes combining these two mascaras. So I'm going to do that too. And this one, while this brush is still a plasticky brush, it is a little bit of a fatter brush. So let's get started this is this is like my favorite thing to do is just sit and play with this kind of stuff so the first thing I'm going to show you because this is a product that I've used for years and years now and really like I always use this product like I said it was the one on the back of my hand here it's just it's kind of a matte and um, and it's not very creamy so it doesn't move around a lot but I use this sometimes if I'm not going to put eyeliner down on my waterline, I will use this and I'll show you this actually makes your eyes look way brighter. See? I just put it down there on my waterline. Now, let's see if I can get close here. Show you, no. 
with without. So I'm gonna do it on this side too. Right now I have no mascara or eyeliner or anything on. I'm just wearing a little kind of nude eyeshadow. So anyways, like I said, I really like it. I'll be interested to see if it shows up on video to bright, make them look brighter, but I really like it. It just kind of like blends in with the whites of your eyes to just kind of bring the whites down a little farther and it makes your eyes look a little more open. So I've used this, actually I used this years and years ago and then kind of lost it somewhere in my makeup drawer and just in the last month or so have rediscovered this and really like it. Moving on, now I want to show you this mascara. This is their Roller Lash and like I said, I've played with this a couple of times but just in the little try me size. Let's put on some mascara. I love me some mascara. Mm -hmm. Even though I didn't put any eyeliner or anything on, I always like to comb my lashes first just to make sure that they're as separated as possible and that type of thing. So. Now on to mascara. First coat. The one thing I do like about this brush over a big puffy brush is it is easier to kind of press it right down to the roots of your lashes. Actually, wow, I am really digging this. So I have always used this mascara in this size and using it in this size, the brush is quite a bit, oh yeah, quite a bit smaller. So now I've always said I don't like a plasticky nubby brush, however, man, that really like that is really separating my lashes. Ooh, huh, I'm so excited. This is even better than I thought it was going to be. Ooh. Okay, stop, I'll show you. Can you see? They're really nice and separated. You can see up my nose. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to do a coat on the other side. I always have the hardest time getting mascara to work on these side lashes way over here. I always end up having to comb them out to get them to fan out this direction. Yeah, dang. I've always said I don't like these little nubby plastic brushes, but I'm really liking this one. Yeah, and another cool thing about this brush is if you kind of flip it around and go to the angled side, you can actually almost get this like you're tight lining. You can really get this into right down at the roots of your lashes. Well, I might be having to, I might have to go back on years of being like, Ew, no, I don't like those plastic nubby brushes. Hmm. All right, so I am saying that this is a definite yes. Love this mascara. There it is, just that mascara. Now, just out of kind of curiosity, like I said, that other girl online had said that she really likes combining these two, and I wonder what it was. She didn't really say what it was about it. Okay, I can sort of see this. I 
I sort of get the impression that this is a little more like separating and lengthening and there it's real is probably a little more of a volumizing so yeah all right now the big test I'm gonna try using this brush on the bottom lashes I never use the mascara um, that I use with the big fat fluffy brush I never use that on the bottom because those brushes are so unforgiving. Right. Got me some bottom lashes. That wasn't too bad. I'm not very good at using regular mascara wands down on the bottom. So if you are, or maybe with some more practice, I would be. But I will uh, definitely give this a big thumbs up. So I'm really glad that I decided to buy this in the full size because... Yeah, I loved the little try me size, but this full size brush makes it even that much more, more better, <laughs> that much more of a nice mascara. So anyways, the last product that I'm going to show you is a product by obviously Benefit called Highbrow. So this is apparently a pencil that you put along your brow line and kind of blend it out and it's supposed to kind of define your brow line better. I don't know. I haven't tried it. So I was trying to figure out what is the difference between this and this. Couldn't you just use both? This is a really non... Like it doesn't blend at all. And I just put this on the back of my hand and I bet that is what, oh yeah, that blends out. Let's see if you can see this side. It, you can blend it out where this other pencil, draw one line. It, it doesn't move as much. So I think that is what makes it better for tight lining and I'd be willing to bet this might actually kind of, you put it on and it probably just washes away fairly quickly. I just realized I don't have any lipstick on. <laughs> oh well, what do you do? So this is how I have seen this used. You take and you draw it right at the base of your eyebrow and in a fairly straight bold line supposedly like that oh see this is one of those things that's gonna be different for video that like on video yeah you can see it but not a lot but on just looking at myself in the mirror like pff, I would not blend this out okay so Got a lot on there now. Now I am going to take a brush such as this. Just a shadow brush, make sure there's no shadow on it. And I'm gonna blend that just a little bit. Oh yeah. So, here's my take on this. I think this is going to be more of a video product than an everyday product, maybe. Because, like, right there on camera, it looks pretty blended out, and I can see it does define my brow. However, this isn't how I would wear it just going out for the day. I, uh, I gotta put something on my lips. They're all dried out. I wouldn't wear this out and about like this. Like I said, I can see what it's doing for camera or for video makeup, but me, I would, if I was gonna actually wear this out, I probably would not have put quite so much on. And yeah, I would blend it way farther out. Now I've pretty much got it up into my eyebrow, so I think I just lost all my eyebrow. All right, I touched up my eyebrow a little bit better. So I'm gonna try it on the other eye. We're gonna give it a go. The first time I did it right there on this side, 
I put way too much on as far as like if I were wearing it actually to wear it, not just on f for video purposes. So I'm going to put just a little bit less this time. And I'm going to start right here in my, like right there at my arch and bring it not quite so far down and not as much. And again, I'm going to blend it. This is just a nice little eyeshadow brush. So, yep. I am liking this, actually. However, I don't think it's going to show up as much on video on this side. However, this is the way I would wear this out and about. This is a little too dramatic. I got it too far down this way. I should have like maybe only gone down to about here with the product and I went like it's all the way down. <laughs> it's all the way down here now. And I'm, oh, darn it. So anyways, but I do like looking in the mirror and camera are obviously two completely different things, but I really like that and if I actually wanted to use even less I might just touch it right there at my arch it doesn't have any sort of shimmer to it or sparkle to it or that type of thing it is it is matte and it's not white it's very very light powdery pink and so it blends in it blends into my eyeshadows nicely I really like that I'm, I'm glad I bought it I'm don't know if I will use it every single day, but I would definitely use that. And again, I was kind of thinking, I didn't really see at first the big difference in these two products, but there definitely is a difference. This blends out really nice. I bet this would be also a really nice product. Now thinking about it, to dot in the centers or in the corners here of your eyes. Let's give this a try. Dotted it right there in the corners. Oh yeah, I like that product for that area as well to brighten that up. Cause I get a really dark blue spot right here in the corner and I can see this being a good product for that as well. Cause it blends nice, but it's kind of a thicker consistency to it so I can see it really staying opposed to a lot of times I use kind of an eyeshadow to to cover yeah I'm liking that for that as well so again this has been you know benefit products roller lash and bright uh excuse me eye bright and high brow and then the little tiny try me size of their reel so yeah I hope you found this video interesting I know sometimes when I want to try a new product such as the mascara or that type of thing sometimes it's nice to be able to see what other people think of it I am really liking this mascara and now that it's all dry and everything it's you know still kind of relatively um, soft I don't feel it's not all crunchy I don't like when all of a sudden you feel and you're like your eye your lashes are just like and they won't move or anything but yeah I'm really I'm really liking the feel of that and I thought that it did a really good job lengthening and separating my lashes especially that I'm extremely impressed with how well it separated my lashes sometimes these mascaras get to the point where when you pull them out there's so much product on them that all of a sudden you like swipe them once and you have like what looks like about three globby lashes so this did a really good job at separating them and lengthening them and I think they'd even look more you know dramatic if I had eyeliner and that type of thing or if you curled your lashes first but yeah 
Um, like I said, I hope you found this video interesting and let me know if you've tried this mascara or what you think of it or if you have another mascara that you think I should try. You can leave that in the comments below and please subscribe. I'm always looking for more subscribers. So until next time, bye everybody.